Hello everyone, in this short YouTube video, I will discuss about the leprosy transmission and the classification. So first of all, leprosy transmission, how the leprosy infection transmit. So it transmit by respiratory route, that is by aerosol inhalation of mycobacterium lepra. And it is in, in uh, it can spread by intimate contact with leprosy patient, particularly lepromatous leprosy patient. And the incubation period, you won't believe up to five to seven years. So after five to seven years, full-fledged clinical manifestation can develop. First of all, let's see the Ridley-Joplin classification. So you know, according to this, it can divide in a five category. First, tuberculoid leprosy, then borderline tuberculoid leprosy. You know, the immunity is high in this spectrum. Then borderline lepromatous leprosy, borderline leprosy, borderline lepromatous leprosy, and finally lepromatous leprosy. All right. So immunity is very low in borderline lepromatous and lepros lepromatous leprosy. So the basilar load is very high in lepromatous leprosy while it is low in tuberculoid leprosy. WHO classification, uh, you know, divide the leprosy in a two category: posibasilary leprosy and multibasilary. So in a posibasilary leprosy, borderline tuberculoid and tuberculoid leprosy comes in which the basilar load is very low because immunity is high. And another one is multibasilary leprosy, in which underlying leprosy of relay jopling is borderline, borderline lepromatous and lepromatous leprosy, where the basilary index is very high because immunity is low in a lepromatous spectrum of leprosy. Thank you very much.